Hello and welcome to my Tomb Raider Remastered Achievement Guide. This will go over the achievement After Us the Deluge, which tells us to make every breakable tile fall in the game. It's kind of a weird one, maybe seems annoying to do, but luckily there's only 51 breakable tiles in the game, which might be better than you were expecting. So let's hurry up and jump into this. There will be a link to the breakdown of every level's breakable tiles in the description. And up first we have the two breakable tiles in caves. It's right near the end here when we're getting close to the final room. There's the two breakable tiles that drop us down into that final room and we can just break them right here. And then we have Vilcabamba and Vilcabamba actually has the most breakable tiles. Uh, two of the total of 14 are here when we're going to get the idol and the key. There are breakable tiles right here in this room. Make sure to knock both of them down. And then the main bulk of Vilcabamba's breakable tiles are here in this right room pillar, which we can get all right here. This is 12 breakable tiles. So this first row is kind of annoying to deal with, so we're going to go over here and knock them all down, and I just go and jump into the water, and then we can climb up and knock down the rest on the second floor. This is the most breakable tiles in one area in any part of the game. So just make sure you knock them all down so you don't miss any for the achievement. And then there is no breakable tiles in Valley. So we can move into Tomb of Qualipec, where if we go off to the right here, we can do this push bowl block room. And after the block pushing, there is one single breakable tile uh, in order to get to the lever. And then after that, if we go into this room here, this is the room with the wolves. Of course, there is a breakable tile at this trap lever that we have to break. And then a majority of the breakable tiles in Tomb of Qualipec, out of the total of 10 in the level, come from this secret here. So you have to go into the secret and there are 8 in here. So try and break all these tiles without falling into the spikes. Try and do a better job than I did here with the bonk and yeah, I kind of messed this up but somehow survived. And then we move into Folly, where we have a single breakable tile in Folly. It's just up in the main room of Folly. You have to come into the secret room with these kind of annoying slope jumps. So just try to jump on the slopes like this, and you should be able to climb up without a problem. And then you have one breakable tile up top. And then no breakable tiles in Colosseum, so we move to Palace Midas, which has four. The first one is going to be at the secret in this garden room here. Go pull the hidden lever and go over here. And this is a dangerous one because of the two cling clang doors, but there is that breakable tile in between them that you'll have to destroy. And then as we move through the level in the normal way, you get to this point where you're going to go up the slopes and you're going to be above the secret and there are the three breakable tiles here above the secret that you can break in Midas and that brings the total to four for the level. And then we have breakable tiles in Cistern. All of them are at the end of the game here in this big room. There's one, two, three, four, five of them, all in this kind of middle section of the room. All right, we moved into Tihokin, which has five, and they're all in one spot as well, like in Cistern, but they're in the secret here. If you get the secret, you're kind of meant to do this in a standing jump side flip way where you knock down all the tiles anyway, so just make sure you go jump on all of them. And now, surprisingly, all of Egypt has zero breakable tiles. So we skip all the way ahead to Natla's Mines, and over this way on this building, 
there is a breakable tile to break. This goes towards the lever that moves the raft out. So you can go to where the Natla's Mines blocks are in order to open up where the drill is. You might not come here because this is actually quite easily skippable on purpose or not. But yep, there is one breakable tile up top of this building here. So you have to go pull this block to move it over to there and get on top of it to go break that breakable tile. And then that brings us to Great Pyramid since Atlantis doesn't have any. So Great Pyramid has a good chunk. Right after you fight Torso Boss, the new breed, there is this breakable tile near this cling clang door. And then after you go all the way around and climb back up above where the Skion is, there is another breakable tile right here, which drops you into the Skion room. After that, as you continue through the level, there's going to be a row of three breakable tiles right here over lava and spikes. So these are quite dangerous. You can break them all just fine, just be careful. And now continuing with the level down here, there are going to be a few breakable tiles down here. This is another dangerous one because there is a boulder and a swinging axe but you'll just run right over them and you have to time the X correctly. Uh, I do not here, I kind of mess up, so try not to do what I did. And then the very last breakable tile of the game is this one right here that you normally have to use to get over to the secret, but just break that tile and fall down. And if everything is right and you've done this all in one playthrough, so it's all in the save file, you have every tile broken and you'll get the achievement pop up there. I hope this helped.